Today I show you a cool tool which allows us to use a USB stick to lock our system instead of a password similar to the USB security feature of online banking. So I found the tool USB Raptor, which allows us to generate key files for USB sticks to use it as lock security for our Windows computer instead of using a password. So this is kind of cool, I like the idea and maybe it's also useful to just have a USB stick which you can insert or eject from the system and then unlock or lock the system. I already opened the website because I will download this from SwissForge. Just click on download and we have to wait a few seconds and then we can save it. So I already extracted it to my desktop. Here open the folder and here we have the program. So then I open it and here we have the very basic interface. So at first here we can set a password. I will use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This here. And here you can select the USB drive. I already have one inserted in my system, so I'll choose this and create the key file. Then here we have the success message. I could also enable the program here, but first we go through the advanced configuration files. So here we have the startup options. And this depends on how you want to use this program to lock your system. The one method is to secure your computer permanently by USB Raptor. So then you can only use it if your USB device is plugged in. Then you best check these three. Of course, the warning if you lose the USB stick you don't have access anymore. So first run it at Windows Startup of course to automatically run it. Then. It's useful if it starts automatically here, minimized in the system tray. And of course, it should always start armed. So the security feature is enabled. Here we can enable this. And then you get a notification here in the bottom right corner. Like you can set here. But I'll disable it again at first. And here we can password protect the user interface here too. Though nobody can change something then the lock behavior. We have the normal mode and the USB Raptor lock mode. This is better because then you have more features and more security. Here you can set a delay, but I don't know what this is for because I mean, yeah, if I lock it, I lock it and otherwise I can wait. <laughs> and here you can make a sound when you lock it. Here we have other lock features. You can customize the lock screen which appears when you eject your USB device, then you can turn off the screen and mute the sound. And we have also the non-USB lock features, so you can lock it through the program directly. Here we have the backdoor access, but the master key backdoor is only available in the paid version. And here you can use by entering a password. If you lose your USB stick, then you can just hover over this and read the tip, because then you have to just double click on the lock screen and then you can insert your password. Here we have a few high security options. So you can pair your log files with the device. Then it's not possible to just copy it to another USB device and use it again so it's more secure. And you can also check this here to not accept keys which are created in other systems so it is a little bit more secure too. We have also network lock sync so if we want to play around with networks and here we have unlock file settings. Here the password and here you can create more files and as I mentioned before, if you have the paid version you can create a master key too. So I will lock this whole thing to show you what happens if I eject my USB device. So I put it out and the system locks immediately. And like I explained, you can double click and insert the password. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, to unlock it. And now I'll insert the USB stick again to show you how this works. If I insert it back in, so everything is armed again. 
So I eject it, system locks down and if I insert the USB device again, it automatically unlocks the system and we can start working again. So for me this is a really cool feature for using USB drives as system lockdown. So that's it. I would appreciate your likes and comments and check out my channel and subscribe to me. To miss no future videos, I put three videos in the end card in which you might also be interested. See you next time!